Over the centuries, people have slept on all sorts of beds. Mattresses were made of a cloth cover filled with straw, cotton, feathers and even horsehair. Today, we're a little more spoilt for choice. Modern beds are made in two sections, a base and a mattress. This wooden base is made by cutting pieces of wood to size and creating a frame. The wooden pieces are put into a jig, glued and nailed together to form the side pieces and ends of the base frame. In the final assembly area, the four sections are joined with the sides fitting into plastic slots that are attached to the end pieces. Strengthening pieces and support for the corners are fitted. The slats of the base are positioned and secured with glue and nails using a pneumatic nail gun. This system allows workers to assemble the wooden frame of the base very quickly and securely. A waxed sheet of cardboard is then stapled to the wooden base. Most modern mattresses have an inner spring core. To make each spring, wire is fed into a coiling machine. The wire is formed into the shape of a spring and undergoes the first of two tempering processes. In tempering, heat is applied to metal causing the metal to set into a new shape. As it cools, the wire will remain in the shape of the spring. As the rows of springs move into the semi-automated assembly machine, each row is laced together with helical wire. The spring unit is almost complete as it pops out of the other side of the machine. It moves to a rotating table where a 4mm thick border rod is attached to the springs to give strength and rigidity to the edge and the unit. This special air-powered clipping gun attaches the border rod firmly to each spring. The completed spring units are placed into an oven and passed through a second tempering process at 280 degrees Celsius. To make the quilted covering for the base and mattress, Rolls of different filling materials are fitted to a multi-quilting machine. The quilting machine secures the top layers to the outer fabric, creating different comfort levels. The quilted material is cut to size and the edges are overlocked, ready to be attached to the mattress or base. Handles are sewn onto the border and in some cases vents are inserted. The vents allow air to pass through the mattress, which is important to remove odours and to allow air inside the mattress to escape when someone sits on the bed. Labels and other accessories are sewn onto the quilted fabric at this stage. A non-slip top is cut and joined to the quilted border material. Non-slip material is important to prevent mattress movement on the base and to hold your sheets in place. Once it has been completed, the cover for the base is fitted to the wooden frame. It is pulled tight and stapled at the bottom. A polypropylene dust cover is applied to the bottom of the base. Grommets are fitted to hold and secure the legs in the base. To finish the mattress, the spring unit is placed onto a revolving table. Wave supports are fitted to the edge of the mattress unit to give extra support for when someone sits on the edge of the bed. An insulator pad is fitted over the springs. This pad prevents the materials that are placed on top of it from pocketing into the springs and prevents one from feeling the springs when you lie on the mattress. Hog rings are used to clip the inner panel to the unit. The first layers of filling are now secured to the mattress. Corner supports are fitted. A mattress cover is pulled over the unit. The mattress then moves to the taping machine, where a strip of tape is sewn to the cover, fixing it to the mattress. The mattress is moved back to the filling table, where it receives a number of other layers of filling. This mattress is known as a pillow top mattress. It looks as if the mattress has two different parts. However, the upper pillow is fixed to the mattress and is designed to supply support and extra comfort to the user. It's filled with a number of layers of foam and other filling materials, depending on the comfort of mattress being manufactured. Each layer is glued together to ensure that it doesn't slip out of position. Once all of the layers are in place, a multi-quilt panel is glued to the last filling layer. Then the mattress moves to the tape edging machine for a second time. 
Now the final closure of the mattress will be done. The tape edging machine moves along a rail beneath the table and the speed of the machine is controlled by the operator's knee, leaving her hands free to pull the material into the right position. This fascinating machine joins the two parts of the pillow top together in the final finishing process to complete the mattress. Today's beds have come a long way from the beds that people slept on in the past. We sleep a third of our lives, so sleeping on a healthy, comfortable and supportive mattress is important to our well-being.